بابا why do we call this separation wall جدار الفصل العنصري yeah we called it uh, separation wall because uh, they don't allow for the people to meet each other or to see each other and why can't we move any why they build it the wall that we can't travel and to pass by the wall because they make a wall and a checkpoint if we want to to pass it means we have to ask them if it's possible to pass now in general they don't let anyone to pass they don't want to give anyone to pass in order to make the people to feel like they are in prison in order to leave the country and they build it for that so we can't move because of the checkpoints and the wall yes of course uh, because the, um, only you, know, you can't find you can't find another solution how to pass the wall the wall it's high 10 meter 9 meter in somewhere and sometimes you can face also the problem with the electric fence it's not only the wall also electric fence electric fence they build it because they looking for to occupy more land in Palestinian between two brackets Palestinian territories now for us of course we can't move because we under the we, we are living under the occupation and they have a power and this power supported by all the government in over the world and now we can cross the checkpoints I have to go for example to Jerusalem or oh, I don't know the other way to Ramallah even I have to pass by the Israeli checkpoint now to pass by the Israeli checkpoint it depends about their rule the soldier rule uh, in the checkpoint and if you go to the Palestinian 48 by the main checkpoint to go to Jerusalem or Yaffa or Haifa now it needs special permission they don't give anyone the permission even people they have report uh, to make a operation or to go to the hospital or etc and many people they try to go legal because it's for them necessary to go to somewhere to do anything but, um, what they are afraid from us or from what they are afraid they didn't let us to pass or they didn't let us to move and why the Jewish they were living together with the Palestinian and after that the Sahyonism movement like Haganah, Shtel, Palmach, Argon all these uh, radical uh, movements, Israeli movement, they start attacking the Palestinian and kill. They kill many people. They uh, try to force the people in, uh, the, in our country to move, to leave their place. And they know that they, they make a lot of things to force the Palestinian to go outside. And they killed a lot of Palestinian people. For that, if they build their country, like what they said, and build a new colony, settlements, beautiful, high building, all the things, making street. And also, after they finish all this construction with a lot of security, they make a wall and the fence around them. They want to hide themselves because they feel that they are criminal. They never feel quiet, even anywhere in our country. Even in Tal Rabia, even in Labbis, even in uh, Askalan, even in everywhere. And uh, why is there uh, yani two roads, one for the settlers and one for us? And the roads, the settler road, we can't go from it. Because they are afraid all the time and they will never accept the others. Now for that, they make a special road for them. They, of course, they explain something very bad in the media. They said the Arabs are terrorists. But in the fact, the Arabs, they are not terrorists. And the Palestinians, they are not terrorists. The Palestinians, they want to live easily. But uh, how does the effects, you know, how does the wall affect in our life? You know, uh, when they build the wall, I think there is effects in our life. But what's this effect? I live in this country. I'm now 
close with 50 years old and before the first intifada and during the beginning of the first intifada we were going with uh, my family and parents going to the sea uh, and uh, this is our land now of course when we can't go outside the, the part of the area not the area because Beit Lahm area, area it's separated also several part by the wall now when we couldn't pass when we couldn't communicate with the others we don't we can't meet each other because that we are stressed of course all the time we are dreaming to go to visit Akayafa Haifa but we can't now this is what we keep it in our mind and our chest but each one they have a dream to go there and they're trying to find solution to go there but it's so difficult because here we don't teach also the other generation I mean the new generation our children you you also we spoke a lot about that that don't feel that this is your country only no our country it's all Palestine from the north to south from the east to west now this is Palestine if there's something we can do, what what is it, these things, to go back to our land? First of all, we have a right. And in the same time, we don't also say that just only we have a right. It's written, I don't know where, in somewhere, in the offices. No, we have this right, and we have to work to get our right. Now, our right to return back, it's need a lot of things. It's need hard work. It's need all the people to try to work every day, each moment, to think how we can protect our society, the first. For our freedom, how to teach the new generation to understand exactly from where they are and to try to make all these the, their activities to explain about uh, their country.